No! I want it! In my search for the ultimate home theater experience, I explored micro LED displays that would have cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, necessitated additional power circuitry to the room, and a dedicated air conditioning unit just to cool it. And Jake was all like, that's really stupid. You should get one of these! Ah! Instead, this is the LS12B from Epson, and it promises to be A, really heavy, and B, the best bang for the buck projector on the market by a country mile. Literally, you could spend four times the amount just to get image quality parity, never mind, better. And today I finally get to experience it. I've had to look at this for so long. <laughs> just like I'm always looking for opportunities to tell you about our sponsor. Seasonic. Seasonic's Focus Plus 750 Watt Gold power supply is fully modular and features both an 80 plus gold rating and a 12 year warranty. Learn more through the links below. I can't believe you fired this thing up without even like calling me over to see yeah, it. Yeah, I, I set it up on my desk with the office lights, which are so bright. And I was like, wow, this looks great. I'm so <laughs> excited. I can't imagine what it's gonna look like in an empty room, but wait, where's the screen? We need to put up a screen. You can't just, can just, there's an electrical box right here. What are you? No, no, we can just turn what? it off. I, you know, I, I can be down. We actually reached out to Epson about checking out one of their flagship projectors ages ago, like back when we started the house. No, for the lounge. Right! So we had the 6050 UV. This is supposed to be the new 6050 UV. <laughs> I mean, they've told, they told us. They're like, yeah, I mean, our stuff is good, but wait till you see what we've got coming. And I think because of COVID supply constraints, it took a little bit longer. I feel like their original estimate was like November of last year. Oh my God, did you actually just do that? Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. Did you get that on camera? No, don't get that on camera. Oh my God, I can't believe you just did I that. I just wanted did to- Did you hear the noise it made? Shh, I just wanted, <gasps> I wanted to show the shutter for the, look at this lens. <laughs> Shut up. Did you hear the noise it made? Shh. <laughs> Donk. At least it's, a laser, not a lamp. <laughs> Thanks, Epson. To be clear, this is still an expensive piece of kit at 5,000 US dollars, but it features a solid state laser light source that can push 2,700 lumens. It does 4K and up to 120 Hertz. So I am actually expecting the gaming experience on this oh, thing oh, to oh. be decent. Gaming experience being good? This thing is less than 20 milliseconds delay in a projector. You literally, you can spend $50,000 on a projector and still have worse latency. Of course, brightness isn't everything when it comes to projection. You can have great highlights, but if you don't have good lows, it's not gonna be a great image, right? It's because of the way your pupils will, will dilate to match whatever amount of ambient light is in the room. Mm -hmm. It's rated to 2.5 million to one dynamic contrast. And unlike the projector we have in the lounge that has an iris that adjusts. The whole image. Yeah, this makes use of multiple lasers. I think they said there's about 15 and they can kind of dim them or shut them off. And also it uses the LCD panels to try to block light. So wait, this effectively has like. It's kind of like local dimming. Local dimming. dimming. Yeah. Mm, okay. It's pretty cool. Can we, can we talk about this for a moment? Epson, love you guys, but come on. This is like quite literally an inch thick. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> okay, so power goes in here. Ooh, oh, we should talk uh, inputs. So it's got HDMI 2.1, two of them, which I mean, I can't imagine myself running two HDMI plugs to the projector, but I guess, oh, you know, if you want to throw like a, a dongle or something on there yeah. and power it with USB, then you got your Chromecast or whatever directly on it, but everything's going to go through the receiver for our setup. You know what that USB is actually for? What's that for? It's supposed to be for powering an active optical cable. Oh, that's so cool. I absolutely love it. But and then, then you've you got this one. Yeah, your Chromecast off that. That's this cool. one for power. That's awesome. Uh, this is for control with third party systems. Uh, this is also for just having like an IR receiver somewhere else that can control this bad boy. And then LAN because everything is smart now. I'm turning it on, I'm firing my laser. Oh no way, it's motorized. Of course it's motorized, are you kidding me? I thought the shade was manual. No. That's sick. Oh, there you go. 
Now our camera operator, hi Mark, uh, noted that the lighting really changed in here because the sun came out. So that's why everything looks kind of weird right now. But that's a great thing for us to talk about because as part of getting the best projector experience possible, you need to completely light control your room. We are talking blackouts here and check this out. This is amazing, okay? Look at this. See, we got a little strip of weather stripping stuff right here. And when it closes, it hits the door frame boop, and goes down so you don't get any light leakage. Or sound. Holy crap, this window is gonna need some serious blacking out. Oh, I was gonna double up the- uh... Well, yeah, I guess I will then. Is that airflow or is oh, that- Oh, that's the light. <laughs> wow, okay. But listen uh, how quiet it is. Oh, that's totally fine. You were asking about zoom before. Yeah, yeah, we have optical zoom, so why do we need to move it around relative to how big we want the image? The thing with zoom, is when you start to use it, you lose a bit of light. Uh, so I generally, see. you want to put it like at the absolute minimum. So then, if we can, which we can, we should put it where we should, which yeah. we should. Yes. Okay. But I mean, yes, you can. You can totally. Oh just, wow, that's a lot of zoom. Yeah, it's like two x or something like that. It's quite a bit. Yep, right about there. Cool. Okay. Oh, it looks I'm, so pinner now that I saw the big one. But look at it this way: if you had a TV it would have been like here. <laughs> yeah. Right. If you really want down the road, we could get a bigger screen. Yeah, I think we should. Okay. Let's start with this though, this is good. Wow, look how bright, the studio lights on in this room right now. I know, and it's like actually usable. Oh, let's shut them off, let's yeah. see. There's the one. Ooh. And there's uh, two. <laughs> We're not even close to fully light controlled in here, but. That is freaking amazing. The big difference between this projector and the one we have in the lounge is this is full, full 4K pixel shift. So it shifts over and down. The one in the lounge only shifted over. So yeah. you got around 4 million pixels on the screen. This is like the full 8.3 that you would get with a native 4K projector. You're probably wondering why they didn't go native 4K for this, right? Like this is a premium product. Why not just have a full 8 well, million pixels? Well, it's premium, but it's only five grand. Right. So part of it is cost. When you switch to 4K native LCDs, there's three of them in there. You got your, your red, green, and your blue, and they get combined. When you switch them to 4K, you need roughly three times as much light to get the same amount of light on the screen. More heat, more power, and both more of which noise are bad. usually. Yeah. But what they'll do to compensate is make the projector way bigger, way heavier, um, and usually it ends up being louder even with all that. And of course, obviously the price goes up. So for five grand, they're like. Ah, uh, no, this makes sense. It's basically the same thing. I'm down, I'm in. Yeah, and look how sharp it is. Can we put content on it now? Yeah, well, let's turn off the lights again. Let's do it. Well, I brought a few things. We've got an Nvidia Shield, so we can do some 4K uh, movies and stuff. Cool. I brought a 3090 equipped test bench, so we can play some games and stuff. Woohoo! did some, you ever. Got some Xbox controllers. Oh yeah. Dude, cranking this thing 4K 120. There's a HDMI 2.1, thanks Infinite Cables. I guess we should tell them about the cabling setup. You can't see it, but up in the ceiling somewhere up here, there is cables. There's an optical HDMI 2.1, as well as power, and I think we actually made a two HDMI cables, just in yeah, case. Yeah, when they do the finishing for the room, I think one goes to the cabinet there, and one goes to yeah. the server. The mechanical room, yeah. You ready to shut off the light? Well, we don't have sound yet. Oh. Are, wanna, are we'll we gonna do that today? Like move some speakers in? Should we? Seems like a lot of work just to drag them back out. We could just use the projector speaker. <laughs> Do we have an extra pair of outdoor speakers? Yes. That would work. Yes. Those guys right there. Yeah, that would be pretty quick. Oh no, no, no. You're good, you're good, you're good. It's fine. Uh, now you're not good. You actually grabbing it made it worse. Here's the plan. Hopefully Clips packed this really well. That's a controlled drop. Hi, oh, you're just like a courier. Where the oh. hell's the receiver? Is it behind those ceiling speakers, maybe? No, I just moved those there. I got a tower, tower, subwoofer. Oh my God. <laughs> Jake, I found it. What? Is it like awful? It's tremendously awful. What? I can't, it can't be that bad. <laughs> I'm just gonna climb the couch. I meant the other couch. Okay, see you later. Ow. Crap, it's heavy. It's very heavy. Oh, this sucks. Um, what are you even doing? This right? might be bad. <laughs> what, why, how are you sideways? Oh, shoot. Okay, new plan, new plan. 
We're going up and over. What that? Oh God, yeah, put the heavy thing really high up. Yeah. Great idea. Okay. Glute's looking good, man. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> joking, I'm joking. I'm not you. Hey Linus, I think we can throw less shade at Epson. I actually think this is thicker. <laughs> the receiver, yeah. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Let's see. <laughs> it is at its thickest point. I think you win. Yeah. But mine averages. You more might girth. have like like more square centimeters or, or cubic centimeters. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Can I help with that? I always forget how absolutely insane this receiver is. Like, look at that I/O. <laughs> Holy. Shit. That is amazing. Oh, and once the walls are black. Yeah, there's actually a ton of light in this room just bouncing off of this wall. That's one of the big reasons that in a media room you need to have everything blacked out. Carpet, walls, ceiling. Sorry. Okay, like that. There you go, there's dynamic mode. Now it's even brighter. Holy crap, what? So dynamic is not gonna be, that. I mean, even for dynamic mode, it looks not bad. This looks amazing. Usually dynamic mode looks like Costco effecty. Wow. Jake, micro LED would have been a huge mistake. You were right, this is amazing. We haven't even put a screen on yet. I know, I've got a freaking electrical box in the middle of the image and I'm already mesmerized by it. Look at this. You're also like standing like right up against yeah, it. Yeah, but that's the thing is I, it looks better from farther away. Like, yeah, I, it's very sharp. It, there's no screen door at all. Oh my God, that's bright. That's oh. crazy. It kind of hurts my eyes. This is a showcase of HDR if I've ever seen one. <laughs> yeah. Time to play some games. You know what? I'm kind of not even feeling like bothering putting the screen on here and risking damaging it while they finish up. Honestly, this is just like- If we're already at this level already and it's only gonna get better with the screen. I'm satisfied. Clearly we're sticking with this solution, so. <laughs> Look at this graph. It doesn't even get to reach a steady state and download, it's just done. All the updates? Done. Holy crap. I can't believe I'm gonna be downloading it over 200 megabytes a second at home. It's a game changer though. Look at the CPU usage though. 30% of a Threadripper 32 core. <laughs> 240 man. <laughs> oh my God, we're gonna hit 250. Holy shit. That's amazing. There is so much spill from this room being so white and yet it still looks really yeah. good. I was thinking about how the shadows look a tiny bit washed out, yeah. but it is totally just because this room is uber white. Yeah. And once the screen surround is all black, uh -huh. it's gonna look so good. It's gonna look amazing. In the dark, I don't know that I would be able to tell that it's not a TV. It looks great. I mean, it's not OLED level blacks, like don't get me wrong. No. But it's like very good. A very good LCD. Yeah. This game is so funny. It's so arcadey, it's not even funny. I, oh, I know. I can see how you'd like it, because it's just automatic drift god. <laughs> like, uh, oh, look at this. Oh, what? Oh, wait. No. <laughs> we no. share controls. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, hello, Doom? Oh, is this, oh, sorry. Is this making it difficult for yeah, you? Thanks, thanks. That's great. That's perfect. Yeah, I remember when this game was relevant for like two weeks. Yeah. And it came out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but damn though. Roasted. Oh, okay. Ooh, that is. That's uh, maybe too much HDR. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. That's so we're just a little juiced why. here. Okay, that's a little less eye searing. It's still pretty. It's very HDR-y. Like when you catch a glint of the sun off the back of the car and stuff, like it's. Yeah, the shadow's got a lot of detail. I definitely think we could tweak this more, but. I love it. The responsiveness though. And I love our sponsor. Did you just fart? Jack makes solar ready portable power stations designed to improve outdoor life by providing power outdoors whenever and wherever you need it. Their Explorer 1500 portable power station has enough juice to keep all your devices powered and connected. Its huge 1500 watt hour capacity and 1800 watt output rate allows up to seven devices to be plugged in simultaneously. It only takes four hours to recharge this sucker from zero to 80%. So check out the Explorer 1500 at the link below and get, guess what, 10% off. 10% off with the code Linus Tech Tips. 10% off.
If you guys enjoyed this video, go check out the rest of the home upgrade series. We are finally coming to the end, but man, what a journey. Dude, there's so many more videos to make still. I know. <laughs> We're gonna have to do the family room, the downstairs. We're gonna have to do something. Actually like... set up the projector room. Yep, get all the audio set up for everything. Oh God. Uh, we gotta actually show how all of the home automation for the heating and cooling works. Oh, you're gonna die. You died. See you later.